I'll tell them to check with you first. Seems like here anymore, everything you Okay, we've got both escape hatches. Entrance stairs. Mudroom and generator. Generator exhaust. Extra pipe. Our goosenecks back in the back. Our, and the door. All right, here's the first bunker, getting it all tied down. Already got the uh, mud room over there on the first truck. And then they are starting to position and move out the last bunker uh, outside to be loaded. We've got two escape hatches, the stairwell, uh, the vent pipes up here on the other side. We have our fittings all stacked up. Uh, the rest of the pipes we were able to get on another truck that was underweight, uh, so we didn't have to get too creative here. But we've got everything else strapped down, everything made it onto a truck, and it'll uh, be heading out. Okay, we have first things coming off. All right, here we are with the entrance. Comes on down with an access road for equipment. And then we've got our first pad right over there that's gonna have the mud room. The sloped is section over there in the bank is for our stairs. Uh, we will be cutting out a groove uh, for each of the bunkers to cradle into on that uh, the rock, make sure and getting the water out of there. And there's our second pad for the back half of the uh, bunkers to rest. All right, second truck finally made it today with the other end of the culvert. So, first thing in the morning, we're gonna start putting this bad boy in. Okay, here we go, we're going up. And what we're gonna do is stage this one over on the far side of the crane over by that rock uh, next to the back though. We're gonna spin it around and we're gonna place the generator into the room that it's gonna go first before we place it into the hole. That just gives us easier access and uh, maneuverability to be able to get everything in instead of trying to put it in after the fact once it's down in the ground. Here we go, first bunker. Uh, backing into position, We're coming in from the entrance and we will be backing all the way, having him back in here behind this building. Here we go. Last unit coming off, truck gonna cle be cleared out of the way. As soon as we get that rock out, uh, these will start going in. Okay, first bunker or mudroom is going in down into the hole. We're gonna have to lift it and spin it uh, once we get closer down, but uh, that's not a problem with the lead ropes. I don't know if you can hear me very well, but right down there at that flat spot is where the uh, back of the bunker sits. And they did not remove a large section of rock uh, at all. It was almost touching the back of the bunker. That's what we're having to remove for the escape hatch. 
and it's taking this guy forever to do it. It's just hard, hard ass rock. Uh, we've got one of the pipes setting there. Everything is draining downhill from the ports. Uh, we're gonna set another pump here. These are where the natural slopes are going whenever they dug the hole in the terrain. So we graded everything all the way around to connect and interlock in each one of them. Uh, and we have got fall going all the way around. Here we go. First one. It's coming right into the hole. Here we go, bunker number two. Okay, we have them both in. Beat nightfall. Crane is going home today. Tomorrow morning starts uh, welding up all the seams, vent pipes, uh, tradesmen are coming in. As long as the rain holds off, we will uh, continue to make progress. Okay, here we are this morning. Uh, the rain's coming down. And we're gonna keep on working underneath here in the mud room, stay dry. It's only supposed to be raining, hopefully for the next couple hours. Uh, while we're doing that, the welder's gonna come up here and weld a nice bead right along the bottom of both openings going from the mud room into the bunker itself. And hopefully by that time he's got that, we will have uh, some dry weather and we can go around the sides and on top and finish getting this buttoned up and start adding the stairs and the escape hatches uh, and just keep moving forward. We just had the, since we got so much rain and mud right there, the excavator operator spreading us out a little gravel path so we're not sli slipping and sliding as much. All right, we got electricians there. They're starting to pipe in. One over here, and then we've got plumbers starting over here. We are covered up. We have got guys going everywhere, welding. It's going on on the inside. We're gonna keep moving forward. All right, walking into the uh, the mud room here. This is where the stairs are gonna go. Uh, we've got the welder down there. He's getting everything. We have our battery banks that are gonna go, or the the customer's battery banks that are gonna hook up to this uh, generator that'll go into this room right here. Uh, we moved the stand in yesterday. That stand weighs about 300 pounds. Uh, we were able to get it into place. The generator top weighs 1,100 pounds, and we're working with the contractor, and his men are blocking it up and going to get it moved in and set into place. Uh, those battery banks uh, are going to be stacked right here in this corner next to the transfer switches whenever they get those mounted to the wall. 
All right, plumber's working. He's got his uh, discharge pipe there on the right and then his vent pipe going up on the left. And for the time being, we're just gonna stick them up uh, until we get the dirt level, soil level built up. He's got his water line coming in. They're gonna clamp all of this to the, uh, to the structure so it's secured and held in. Same thing here, it just mimics both and then once we get the soil level up, we can uh, run the pipes, discharge properly to the sewer, and then we're running that direction because of the uh, well is going to be on that side for the water coming in. All right, we're getting this first groundwater pump tower set up. We've got it hooked up and chained there at the top. We're just gonna get it set down. Go! Go down with it! Get it touching the ground, and then we'll lean it up against the pipe over here. Up against the culvert. There we go. Yeah. Yep, come down, we'll disconnect the chain. There you go. We'll get the holes for the pet, uh, the uh, black pipe, the irrigation pipe put in there and start packing the, the uh, engineered rock around it to get it to go up plumb and uh, drop our pump down in there. And there'll be nothing left to just plug it in. All right, we've got uh, the second culvert tube for the drainage. We're cutting out the holes for it before we set it in place. Got a big excavator just showed up to be able to reach it. So we're gonna get these uh, holes cut ahead of time because we know where the placement is. We've measured for that. Uh, let me go down here and I'll show you they're moving the generator and how uh, the contractor here, his men figured out how to do it. Just a simple old fashioned blocking. Just jack up one side, block it up a little higher do the other and they keep on going through. And then they're gonna pick it up and slide it on in through there. their conduit uh, they're welding still welding that look at all there's supposed to be at least another two conduits uh, running underneath here from bunker to bunker and then quite a few still going between uh, the front of the generator room to the back of these bunkers Here it is, the last pass, the last three inches, the weld for the, uh, for the inside of the doors, and we are done here. Coming down with the first one. Now we are using this ratchet strap to be able to tip the bucket uh, to be able to just level. Uh, we left it a little bit tilt and low, and then we'll be able to use that ratchet to fine tune it instead of the machine, because the machine's been having a little bit of difficulty doing that. Okay, 
Go towards the bunker. Slow, 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 slow. Whoa! Go up a little. Hold it, yes. Hold it, yeah, just hold it right there. Okay, yeah, I'll come right down. All right, and there it is, just like that. Diner escape hatched all bolted up, all tightened up. All we have to do is weld it on the inside and it is ready to go. All right, we already uh, did some more welding underneath. Uh, got the exhaust hung, the second escape hatch done. Uh, Reach is doing that while we are uh, setting up the rigging for the stairs. And then we're gonna pick those up and bolt those into place. And the second welder just showed up. So we're gonna get that into commission as well. And here's the other two pick points, points right there, so we can stabilize it with three points of contact.
planting all around here right now. We're gonna be bringing in dirt uh, to backfill up closer so we uh, save some rock for the customer, help save them some money. Backfilling everything to keep that drainage, keep the water off these culverts. Uh, got uh, our foot valve going in over here on the end for all the condensation pipe and we will backfill that up to that point with the gravel uh, and let that moisture fall through the bottom and not collect around there in the mud. Uh, the gravel around there will keep the screen clear uh, so it will drain as it's supposed to for time to come. Okay, so this is the back of the, uh, the hallway into the entrance of the bunkers. We have the stairs over here. Uh, because of the way the customer had to excavate the hole with so much stone in it, uh, the hole is much bigger than it needs to be. Here's our first load of these uh, builder stones. I'm gonna take them, place them right down on the left-hand side, right down there. got the, the wall finished, stagger the blocks so they interlock with each other. And we've already started back filling in uh, with the rock in between. You can see it poking out uh, between the boulders, but down there to the left. I would just continue to fill up all that uh, 57 rock, backfill the mud, and then we'll start covering up the top over the mud room. Here's the end of day two rock filling, back filling. We are up over a foot almost all the way across the mud room gravel down the sides of the staircase here and able to walk actually out on top of it getting close to finishing off the rest of the hallway right there and then we are only a couple feet from the top here and the same on the back walls uh, we have our gravel all the way going down our drainage pipes here for our sump pumps uh, gravel going all the way up to our foot valves uh, which will catch our condensation and that gravel connects down to the rest of the base and goes and trickles down to those sump pumps there uh, tomorrow morning hopefully by lunchtime or a little after this thing will be completely covered and ready for dirt
There you go. Got a nice consistent spacing. Fits up very well. Got a little bit right there on the in between in the middle bring up far side's got just one more foot we're back filling right here just with a little bit with the uh excavator just bringing some more dirt in so we don't have to use as much rock and uh, then we will be grabbing the transit and topping this thing off with a foot all foot cap of rock Overts are completely covered with one foot. Just have this little bit of the mud room that we're going to finish covering up. And then the customer has some uh, felt or some fabric, uh, ground fabric to, that he wants to put on top of this. Uh, and then we will start adjusting the height of our hatches in the back, filling those with sand what they're supported. And, uh, getting this covered up with dirt all right here's the update for this morning uh, backfill of the escape tunnels right there now we have already finished compacting a foot of uh, 57 rock over the top of the entire bunkers uh, there's a foot there and uh, then topped it off with this woven fabric to help keep any sort of dirt and sediment from mixing with the rock and we are over both bunkers and the mudroom. And then we have the crushed rock going up against the stairway to keep all of the water, uh, an easy pathway off the sides, away from the bunker and down to the sump pumps, which are those two culvert pipes that are sticking up there. All right, right there is our foot valve. Uh, if you've noticed in previous videos, them sticking out of the the vent pipes here, the air pipes. Uh, we have the gravel piled all the way up against them. And for the simple fact of the condensation that's going to drip out of them, uh, we'll be able to go into the rock and filter down uh, smoothly. You know, the water's not going to build up right there uh, and it'll get down to the sump pump. And that's like that under each one so over here the pipes actually covered up uh, we've taken rock all the way to the foot valve on all of them on every single one and there's one on both ends of these ventilation pipes on the downspouts that actually tie into them uh, all in all I believe there's one, two three four five six seven eight foot valves uh, that's attached to this bunker uh, we've got two just over there for the the air exit outlet, which is that candy cane to the right. And then the T galvanized pipe up there, that is an exhaust for the generator. And that also has a foot valve on it for the condensation that's going to be uh, pushed through the exhaust pipe on the generator while it's running. All right, we've uh, shot a laser and cut this down. A nice clean cut there's our off cut piece uh, we've got the the builders going to be bringing in a lot of dirt to bring this up uh, for the building that's going to be going over the top and this is just as far as we had to cut it down now 
Now we did use a grinder as a cutoff wheel instead of a torch for the simple fact we didn't have a good way to uh, cut a clean straight line. Uh, typically we'd block up a board and use that as a, uh, a guide for the torch head. Uh, and this black paint, you know, kind of comes, you know, takes away our marks, the soot will get on it with the torch. And since it was so high up, it's just more comfortable and a lot faster to use a cutoff wheel. And it gives us a good, clean, crisp edge. So no jaggedness that we have to do any more grinding on to uh, protect the plastic that's going to cover the top of this. And the next thing will just be plasticking off the inside and uh, filling it full of sand. All right, here's the escape hatch uh, we taped over the six inch plug uh, to where it with plastic. That way the sand doesn't fall through. It doesn't hold any pressure on the cap, so it's an easy release for uh, you to unscrew the cap. And then you just reach in and poke a hole and probably just rip that plastic right out of there and the sand will come um, pouring out. That allows you to be able to get out and release it. Uh, we did tape up the seal just to make sure it is bolted. Um, while that sand's pouring out, you can unloosen those bolts up. And then there's a clasp on the inside to where you can you know, pull it out the rest of the way. Uh, the bolts hold it, the door up there securely, but we did just just for extra extra security, just uh, for the sand to not start seeping through there. Since it is dry sand, it will move uh, very freely. So we just put that tape there uh, to close that seam up, and then we're gonna fill it up, and I'll show you how we cover the top of it. All right, now we've got it all wrapped up. So if you look right here to the side, it's filled up. We have a nice dome that's gonna keep water from sitting on top of the plastic, it'll shed off uh, and keep that top dry. Uh, we take it with a nice heavy black plastic and then wrap it in this protector wrap. It's uh, similar to zip wrap, it's a six inch wide tape uh, used for flashing. It's extremely strong, very sticky. And we wrap it across the top in both directions and then all the way around over the top of that to lock that in and then we wrap the corners to help protect those. Uh, edges of the plastic from getting frayed and maybe breaking over time. The guys are starting the last one. They've got it domed over. They're going to start over the top, get that crisscross, get it wrapped around and the corner's done and this will be completed. There's the last bit of the mudroom they still haven't, or the hallway going to the other bunker, down from the stairwell. And I'll take you down into the bunkers. All right, and on this one, right to the left, uh, is the generator room. Now the customer's got their generator in here, but not hooked up. There's a couple other things, and they're working with the contractor to get that, but it is a good sized room in here. Uh, this is an 18 kilowatt generator. There's a lot of space. I mean, this is a big machine. And so, uh, there's your port out for fresh air their exhaust port right there and then right up here is their uh, eight inch inlet for air so whenever you come out of there come into this hallway and then the first 
bunker come to uh, is the dining. It's got a nice half bath in here, your vanity. You come up and then right over here is going to end up being two couches to the left, uh, which sits across from a uh, computer desk or just a simple work desk and then a good size entertainment center you can fit that's a four foot wide opening right there you can fit about a 50 50 inch TV in there and that comes down to the uh, 18 foot of dinette bar and then from there right across from that is three sets of tables all of these benches have storage underneath and inside the face of them is a plug on every single one so anyone sitting out there has got plenty of uh, power to chain or uh, charge their cell phones laptops whatever while you're down here and then we move on down to the end to this kind of galley kitchen setup or on the right your mini fridge uh, two base and sink and then across from that on the left is another spot for a fridge and a single basin sink uh, RO systems hooked up on both of them uh, the Swiss made ventilation system uh, which is going right now and you know, it's very quiet moves a good deal of air and then right to the back we have the secondary hatch coming in here for an exit walks back there tons of light in here it is not dim at all it's very bright we're gonna walk over here and come straight to the left and go over to the sleeping bunker now, as soon as you walk in you have a double set of toilets lockable solid doors same thing on the left, exactly the same setup. Good, bright, eight inch LED. And then beyond that is your, you know, clearly your shower and your vanity. A lot of space. You know, there's about six to seven feet between that vanity and this back wall, uh, about a four foot wall right there. Uh, plenty of space to add another set of shelves uh, for towel storage. Same thing over here. Uh, plug set up there. Both your light switches for all of the lighting in here and the lighting in the bathroom. As soon as you come to the right, more storage. Can't have enough of it. And then moves on down to the actual beds themselves. Uh, the top or the, the bottom and the middle bed all have lift up storage in every single one of them uh, there are 24 beds in total in this in between the two sleeping bunks is a lockable solid door and towards the back is another room now this client uh, decided to put in some extra equipment uh, that they have uh, to suit their needs. Kind of sticks out a little bit, but still plenty of walk space for anyone to fit through. Uh, in the back here is, again, another four set of storage. Each one of these is 18 inches, at least from the bottom right there. And right, uh, I think right here we transition to 16 to the top two, and then you have another about 15, 14 inches from there to the ceiling. Another Swiss made. Uh, ventilation system and straight out to the exit hatch back here again plenty of natural light or uh, LED lighting in here to be able to see now I'll take you down below each unit is the same whenever it comes to its uh, plumbing and electrical as far as the setup I'll lift up this hatch right here just pull it in the back now 
You have the Sandy Pro, Pro grinder pump here. Uh, toilet's all plumb into it. Uh, vanity shower comes all the way from over there, all the way back, and then it is piped out and vented right there. Uh, we have temporary power. The customer doesn't have all of their set up yet, so we just have it uh, lights and ventilation hooked up at the time, or at this moment right now, and then he's gonna have his electrician come in later. Uh, we have the water system that comes in on both of these uh, from the outside city currently. Well, all right, guys, that's the end of this one. Truck's all loaded. Bunker's all done. Customer is happy. So we're gonna be leaving this one with them. Unplug their power for them. They're gonna be building a concrete pad and the building over the top of this one in the next coming months. And this will be their nice new storm shelter. Be setting it up right over there. All right, this is it. This is the last we'll see of it. We're all finished up. We're headed back to the shop. The customer will be pouring a pad over the top and building a building. All right, we'll see you at the factory.